interesting one today. Uh, we're going to be cleaning a culvert. Real big one. So we did. Here's basically where he starts right here. And there you can see the big pipes. Keep trying to get in here. So there you have it. So what we've been doing through these culverts, we actually have to clean all these out of here. What we've been doing to these culverts, we've been sending tires through uh, to get it cleared. Um, and but the problem with this one right here is that it has uh, this one was just dirt and it was okay. We were able to clear it pretty good but this one here uh it's pretty tough it's got roots in it and it's about a 60 foot run that way uh we had some rain a uh, couple weeks back and and so we got a pretty good amount of water in here uh, but that's kind of going to help us uh kind of flush the dirt out of there to just leave roots that way we can pull the roots and then and then uh kind of like that 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 what the, that's that's the plan kind of just get the roots out of there so we can uh, clean it better uh, now I'm talking about years and years of, of uh, roots being in here a beaver nested in this area uh, and then he's causing a ton of mayhem and then we got uh, our customer just call us and see if we can help him with this so got a vacuum today and we're gonna be using the root destroyer Ugh. so this is what we're gonna uh, work with here we're gonna put this in there and then have the dirt kind of separate the dirt from the uh, roots and then and, and see what happens uh, see if we can get a good amount of root tie it to a chain and use that machine over there to pull it so there you go. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, our truck can put out 85 gallons, uh, but I choose to keep the 65 gallons so I can build more pressure because I want more pressure uh, uh, instead of uh, you know have the truck just piss water out and then having to go fill up so quickly. So I'm looking for pressure here, not uh, gallons. Uh, so that's why we kept the orifices at 65. So, all right, Oswald, go ahead. Let's see what he does. so here we go it did exactly what I wanted it to do which it was separate the roots from the dirt but we just discovered that we also dealing with rocks but man I'm really impressed with this head oh, really, really impressed It's doing the job. It's going to take a minute, but he'll get it done. Alright, so let me give you a little bit of what we're doing here. Here's that culvert where the, uh, 
the video of the shorts that went viral. That was the culvert we cleaned. We tried to clean that culvert, but um, it was too much for the excavator, so we have now tires stuck approximately 20 feet in that way. So we're cleaning everything up using the vector until we get to the tires. We're gonna hook up the chain and then trying to pull the rest of the dirt. So now what you see here is a pump, a sump pump that we put. We put it with a bunch of rocks in it because we don't have access to a hydrant. So that's what we have now here because we really need water. So we have kind of a limited supply of water now. Uh, hooked it up with this Harbor Freight uh, generator, which is working really good. And uh, there you have it. So the, uh, this generator and this pump are filling up the truck as we getting all the dirt and all the roots out of there. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I mean, there were fire hydrants available, but it was like 10 minutes away. And this type of work, I mean, to cleaning pipes this big, you need a water source. You just do need a water source. That's enough, I think. So I'm basically using this as a coupling. Some Gorilla Tape. This MacGyver, it's almost done. It's one of the things you always have to keep in your Vactor truck, guys. The number one thing you need in the Vactors is your duct tape. Anyone that runs a vacuum truck knows what I'm talking about. It says overload. We wouldn't run both pumps, so the red generator is not strong enough. But uh, this one is, uh, I believe, a half horsepower pump. So it's uh, keeping up with the truck. Uh, when I put both pumps, it went onto overload, so. But uh, this one is keeping up with the truck pretty good.
so check this out we can't run the two pumps at the same time so i have now the other pump the, the one with the lowest uh gallons per minute fitting this jetter um, what we're using this jetter for is we have the hydro excavating gun inside we're breaking up the dirt uh, and then what happens when we get the dirt off the walls we use the vector truck to bring the dirt all the way out to the pipe so i can run both pumps at the same time but at least i don't have to use the hose vector to come in and fill up this machine right here now i just have to disconnect the one that's fitting the truck and connect the one that's fitting this and then vice versa when i need water to the other side
You may not see it, but there's a lot of sand that's being moved back this way. Look at the roots over there. Oh my God. That's incredible. Look how thick they are. The culvert job is done. It took about four days and $8,000 to get it cleaned, but it's cleaned. You'll see the before pictures. It started raining yesterday, but it's all going downstream right now. Nothing else is getting flooded upstream. So, see you on the next video.